Hi there. Today I'm going to work on finishing some blank pages out of my 2014 art journal. I know I've showed this to you before and I've said that there are some blank pages in here from some Crazy Island family prompts that I was going to work on but I just never got the time. This one I had a lot of fun doing. Music is woven into the fabric of this harsh existence. I'm not sure what the prompt was. If I went back and looked at it, I'm sure I could find out. But I took some of Degas little ballerina statue and put a little fabric, fabric dress on her. I had two of them. I cut them out of a book. But I'm going to work on the back of this page, which is a blank page. And Crazy Island Family's prompt for this week. Oh, look. I found another background page that I did when I was actually doing Giselle Grenier's book of backgrounds, her number five on there. But Crazy Island Family's prompt for this week in December is tags. And I also found I have some fabric stickers that I got. Or I still have one tag left here. However, what I thought I would do is take this and use this as kind of a silky fabric. I'm going to remove this tag. Okay, I start out by arranging the sticker sheet and then painting that background with some of that metallic glittery blue paint that I used on my December daily. Set that aside to dry and then I take the sticker sheet what's left of it, the borders of it, and arrange around my page to get a page of tags. And I trim the borders. And I get out a Tim Holtz burlap stencil. I'm going to try something I've never tried before, and that is taking some of my modeling paste and mixing some black onyx glitter with it, thinking that I'll get a shiny black, but it turns out to be more of a cement gray color. But I decide to go ahead and use up what I mixed up, and I'll do another tag down toward the bottom of the page here. I feel like I'm spreading cement, but never fear, that will change. And then I just use up the rest of it on a scrap of paper, which will become another tag on my page. So look at that gray cement. I mix a little blue with it and some black glitter on top, which works very nice. Now I get the bur burlap stencil and decide that I'm going to put some of that berry colored paint on there. Blues and reds and turquoises really aren't my color, so I'm working a little bit out of my color scheme here. But that will all fade into the background and you'll see that in a minute here. Cleaning off my stencil as much as I can. Now I get out some, I have some blue screen printing ink that's just as shiny as the gold screen printing ink. I do both sides of the little manila tag that I have there. And edge the side of my little smaller tag. I'll eventually do the back of that small tag too. Now is where I'm clipping the corners. And I coat the entire journal page with glazing medium. And oh, watch what I do here. Black glitter all over the page. <laughs> I really like the effect of that black glitter on that page. Now, while it's still wet, I'm thinking that I want some of that texture to show through. So I just take a towel and wipe through the, those tags. And I'm really liking that. And I decide to wipe out some more tag shapes and shapes, square rectangular shapes on my page. And I like how that background is showing through. I've got a lot of different textures going on there. Now my camera, something happened to my camera, so I'm using the front end of my camera and I'm just gluing the small tags down to the page. And that's 
about the end of my journal page. You'll see more of it in the finished photo at the end. <laughs> <laughs>